welcome. Certainly thank you all for joining us this evening on, uh, on this momentous occasion. It's a very, uh, very special day. We're here to celebrate some of our students' recent academic achievements, all made possible through students' hard work, dedication, commitment to their studies, supported by the teachers, parents, grandparents, and, and others in their families that have invested the commitment to uh, their students' education and their academic endeavors. Our theme for this evening, I think most of you came to your program when you came in, um, is Lincoln Students Are Amazing. We're going to recognize this evening our Skills USA winners from Lincoln County High School. Our West Virginia Law Adventure Contest winner from Guy Valley Middle School. Young Writers Contest winners. Our AFT West Virginia Student Artist Contest winner. As well as our Golden Horseshoe winners. Before we get into the ceremony, I'd like to take just a moment uh, to uh, recognize introduce our board members as well as some central office staff members who are here with us this evening. Uh, so I'll start with the board. To my left, I have Mr. Larry Wilkerson. To his left is uh, Mr. Fred Curry, who's our board vice president. Have Mr. Steve Priestley, he is our board president. Mr. Rodney Baker, those of us know him in Brown. <laughs> and Carol Smith. All joining us this evening. And then in the central office, I have my assistant Bill Lindell. Federal Programs Director Kirk King is with us. And our Special Education Director, Ricky. Well, I'll you, Mr. Priestley. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm never going to leave that down. <laughs> we got there, though. We made it through. It's, it's an inside story. <laughs> Um, I'd like to, uh, to thank uh, Brenda Powell, and I'm, I'm not sure where she is, right? my secretary, for organizing this event this evening. She has put so much work in this uh, last few days. Uh, just on the other side of this petition is, is uh, food that she's prepared. And she, uh, she, she has egg salad, she has chicken salad, and some other uh, some things that she's put together for us this evening, and I uh, appreciate all that she does in, in organizing, putting together these kind of events, activities for us throughout the year. <coughs> also want to point out and recognize uh, Sean O'Donnell here with the Lincoln Journal. Sean, appreciate you, Thank you. being here and uh, your continued support of what we do in education here at Lincoln County School System. Thank you. You're a true friend, support of what we do, and great, you're greatly appreciated. Also, um, uh, providing some assistance there with Brenda this evening and uh, getting everything prepared is uh, Tina Black. She's not with us either. She's our receptionist. And our custodian, Doug Miller, who we worked all the way to set up this room this evening, but he also made sure that the boardroom is set up uh, this evening because right after this uh, celebration, we're gonna, we'll move into our regular board meeting. So welcome. It's our pleasure this evening to share with all of you the outstanding achievements of our young students. Congratulations, students, on your accomplishments. We're certainly all very proud of you. And with that said, I am going to turn this over to, um, to Mr. Lindley. Let me get the... Uh, Uh, I have the privilege of giving away the awards for Skills USA. Skills USA is a partnership of students, teachers, and industry working together to ensure that America has a skilled workforce. Skills USA helps each student excel. We provide educational programs, events, and competitions that support career and technical education, or CTE, in the nation's classrooms. And uh, the students to here, they went, uh, they, they competed in state competition, 
uh, everybody across the state, and I know some of them I don't have that list of who's moving on, so if you come up, tell me if you're moving on. I know we have a few students that's going to national skills competition. But uh, I'll start with the, the first group, which got a gold medal in chapter business procedure. If you're here, please come up. Zach Hill, Madison Street, Brendan Holly, Max Salmons, Lindsey Baker, Tim Thompson. Search and Rescue, Weston Dunlap, and Hunter Owens. A gold medal in technical computer applications, Noah Sewell. I know this one here. A silver medal in screen printing, Kate Taylor. Receiving a bronze medal in global robotics, Caleb Rusk and Noah Webb. to uh, spread the duties out this evening, but due to family emergencies and uh, an actual accident this morning on the way to work, a couple of our fellow directors couldn't be here, so we'll do our best to represent all the directors this evening. We will now move to the West Virginia Law Adventure Contest. I had to do a little reading about this because I didn't know what it was. Uh, but on May 27th, students from Guy Valley Middle traveled to Charleston to the West Virginia Supreme Court uh, where they were pronounced the 2016 winners of the West Virginia Law and Venture Competition. And I thought, well, what does that mean? What this requires is that these students were responsible to write their own mock trial based on a scenario presented to them at an earlier time. And these scenarios change every year so it's not like you get the same one year after year so you can get you can uh, capitalize the market on that so i thought that was unique uh, they have to they have to generate this mock trial and then they have to act it out in front of a judge a judicial offer a magistrate family court judge circuit court judge before it's even able to be entered so they had to go through all these steps all these processes and these students are being recognized this year as the state winner. What, and what's even more unique about that is all schools 
were, had the opportunity to do this, Guyon Valley was the only school in the state that was able to, co to complete all of the parts of this competition. It's right here in the newsprint. So that, that says something for, you know, it says, celebrating our, our, our students are amazing. I, I think that, it, that does measure up to amazing. Let's recognize these students. Oh, Ms. Falcons never had lost their words. Well, I think this is important to recognize that not only do these students do all of this work, but two days before the competition took place, our server crashed, and they lost all of their work that they had. And in two days' time, they rebuilt the whole thing from scratch. So I think that is equally amazing. Uh, their work ethic on that point. Mm -hmm. that. No one here, Mr. Atkins. I just want to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's recognize these students, please. If you are here, please come forward. Bailey Atkins. Jacob Baker. William Klein. Joshua Gray. Andrew Mabry. Matthew Simmons. Kayla Vance. Chloe Williamson. Lauren Atkins, Christopher Burns, Jareth Dotson Foster, Kaylee Harbor, <laughs> William McLeod, Jonathan Simpson, Diana Webb, Brandon Atkins. Tyler Chaney, Andrew Fry, Ashley Johnson, Cameron Schroeder, <coughs> Tristan Thompson, and finally Brianna Williams. Let's give a round of applause. kids thought going in that what they were going to do was much like what you all see as the law on television. The real practice of law is nothing like that. So I went up to talk to the kids to try to get their heads around what they could and couldn't do with their very limited fact pattern. And I'm telling you what, these kids, they were a lot more involved than these, but I see three or four or five here that were heavily involved. They worked not only during school, but afterward, evenings. The work product they turned out and the grasp and understanding of how the law really works that they developed in a very short period of time was amazing. Some of the questions that Ms. Shortridge would send me from these kids blew my mind. That kids that are in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade would have that level of detailed analysis to approach this fact pattern. Even more impressive, I know Sean, you were there, was when these kids presented at the courthouse, uh, I don't know when that was, but I went over and watched that as well. And um, unless I miss my guess, there'll be one or two of these kids that wind up being lawyers despite the best advice that their parents and others telling them not to be. But it was, it was really amazing watching the kids, how hard they worked on something that wasn't traditional, and what a great work product they turned out. And if you all had seen what they had to submit to the Supreme Court, it was almost like an appeal brief. It was that detailed, something that a higher-end lawyer would do. And these kids busted their butts, lost everything two to three days beforehand, put it all together, got it all together, and won the state. The only school in the state to complete all the requirements this year. 
And I think if you ask any of them, they would tell you they had a wonderful time doing this. It was exciting and challenging, and I bet you all look forward to doing something like this again at some point, don't you? Anyway, I just wanted to speak because they, they, they so impressed me with what they did that I had to just give them one more round of applause. So thank you all, and thank you for letting me be involved in helping you. You can sit down now. The next set of uh, students to be recognized are students who participated in the Young Writers competition. This competition began 30 years ago. Um, and this year, on May 13th, the students uh, from Lincoln County were invited to Charleston to, uh, to celebrate and recognize uh, each other's work. And I'd, I'd like to read, uh, not a whole lot, but a quote from the state superintendent. Writing is a skill that emphasizes critical thinking and learning at the highest level. These young people have demonstrated that they not only have grasped the concepts of writing, but they excel at those skills. And that is worthy of recognition. That comes directly from State Superintendent Dr. Moderano. So at this time, I'd like to recognize Lincoln County's <coughs> young writers at each grade level. First, in the fir first and second grade from Midway Elementary, Ms. Abigail Paul. Third and fourth grade from West Hamlin Elementary, Becca Vicker. Representing Guyon Valley in the fifth and sixth grade, Ms. Brandon Atkins. <laughs> I have to tell a funny on Brandon before I call up the next one. Brandon has been doing this since she was knee high, and one of the things that we have to work with on Brandon is there's there are limits on how many words you can put in, and Brandon. Uh, Sometimes it's Brandon. Stop! You're at three thousand, and you're only allowed to have five hundred. <laughs> so, but it's it's uh, she does a great job, um, as well as this next young lady representing the seventh and eighth grade from Hamlin Pre-K eight, Brianna Call. Now, what is unique, and I'm sorry that Brianna is not here, but it's worthy of noting that Brianna did place in the state competition second. So uh, that's, that's quite an accomplishment. And representing Lincoln County High School this year in the 11th and 12th grade, Mr. Alex Clay. Lincoln County Young Writers. Good evening. I have two sets of awards for you all this evening. Um, like we said, that some of our directors even had somewhat of an accident this morning that is keeping them from being here. Um, the first one is the AFT West Virginia Student Artist Contest. Alexandria Lexi Sharp won first place in the American Federation of Teachers Statewide Art Contest in the Middle School Division. The contest was developed to promote the importance of art at all program programmatic levels and to recognize unique talent in West Virginia students. The winning artwork will be framed and included in the permanent collection at the office of the AFT West Virginia President in Charleston. In addition to the honor of winning first place, she and her teacher, Mary Lou Decker, <laughs> received a $200 cash award. So congratulations to Alexandria Lexi Sharp from Guyon Valley Middle. is the Golden Horseshoe Test. And if you grew up in West Virginia, you know what this is. The Golden Horseshoe Test has been administered in West Virginia each year since 1931 and is the longest running program of its kind in any state. 
The top scoring students in each county receive the prestigious award and are inducted as knights and ladies in the Golden Horseshoe Society. Approximately this year, 22,000 students were tested. 232 students tested in Lincoln County and 221 students were recognized statewide. Our Knights and Ladies of the Golden Horseshoe from Lincoln County are Joshua Phillips from Hamlin Pre-K-8, Amelia Godwin Duval Pre-K-8, and Dylan McCormick Duval Pre-K-8. I've asked Mr. Priestley, our board president, to make a few comments and see if he can. He just asked me a few minutes. <laughs> uh, I just want to uh, congratulate all of you students on your performance. Um, you all know how difficult a, a typical school year is for everyone. And uh, for those of you that have won these awards, you've done some outstanding work there. So, you know, it's shows us the exemplary status that some of you have and the abilities you have. So we just hope, and I think I speak on, on behalf of all the board, that you can continue to do that as you go from one level to the other, whatever grade you may be in now, or even if you're graduating, and you'll keep going out there and doing your best. Um, because as we always say, what you do represents all of us. And uh, your success in, in school and in life represents all of us. And, in this county, and we appreciate that. Parents, guardians, grandparents, and all of those others that help, uh, we thank you too, because if they wouldn't be doing the things they were doing if it weren't for you. Uh, because sometimes, you know, we all need a new little push and shove here and there. And uh, I know I got it more than once, but hopefully it's just a gentle push and shove. But good, once again, uh, so congratulations to all the students who are here today, and those who weren't able to come. <coughs> Uh, just wish you the best in the future. Thank you. Thank you. The students are truly amazing. I wish you continued success as you continue your academic uh, years here in the school system. And we are ready to have our reception. And, and there behind the curtain is Miss Tina Black and Miss Brenda Powell. Our two ladies responsible for organizing this activity so I'd like to give them a round of applause. And we can we can start a line right here at the end of this table. We're ready to eat. Thank you all for being so much.